Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to find z-scores using the TI Inspire. Um, in this particular one I'm referencing some things that sometimes you're asked to find. Um, for this one it says corresponding to the first quartile. Um, if you remember, the first quartile means that 25% of the data is below that. So this corresponds to 25% um, of the area being shaded. Okay, so the first quartile, like I said, it has 25% of the area below it. So when we are doing this in our graphing calculator, what we want to do is we want to use the inverse norm feature. And on this, the parameters are that you have to have the area to the left, the mean, and the standard deviation. For z-scores, because we're talking about the standard normal distribution, what we would plug into our calculator on this is inverse norm, the area to the left is 0.25, our mean is 0, and our standard deviation is 1. So anytime you're finding z-scores, mu is always 0, and the standard deviation is 1. This is the default of the calculator, so if you start a new calculator screen on the TI Inspire, it will automatically start with this. So let's go ahead and find that in our calculator. So if you grab your calculator, um, I'm going to add a calculator screen to this one. And to get to this, it's under Menu and Option 6 Statistics. So I just hit the number 6 Statistics and Option 5 Distributions. Option 3 gives us our inverse normal distribution. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in Area. And in this case, because it's the first quartile, it's the 25th percentile, so we would put in 0.25 and click OK. And we see that our answer is negative 0.67449. So depending upon how many decimal places you need, for this one, if we round it, it would be negative 0 0.6745. And for this, you can either report it as negative 0 0.674, because if we would have rounded it before, most of the time when you're reporting the z-score, they're just going to want two decimal places. So we would just say that this is negative 0.67. If you were using your table, that's how many decimal places. Um, that's why normally with the z-score, we just use two decimal places. The second scenario we have is the top 10th percentile. When it asks for the top 10th, that's talking about it's shaded to the right. So we're looking for 10% of our area shaded to the right. Um, and if you recall, I said up here that in order to plug this into your calculator, you do have to have the area to the left. So to find the area to the left of this, we would just do 1 minus 0 0.10, which is 0.9. So this would give us our area to the left. So when we type it into our calculator, you have two options. You can either do inverse norm, and it is inverse normal on this calculator. Um, the area to the left would be 0 0.90. 1, or instead of putting in the 0.9, if it's a harder to find the difference between the two, you could actually put in 1 minus 0 0.10. I will show you both to show you that you get the same answer, so it doesn't matter. So again, to find this, it's under Menu, Option 6, Statistics, Distributions, and Option 3, the Inverse Normal. And so you can either type in the 1 minus 0.10, which would give you the area to the left. Like I said, for this one, the math isn't hard, and I get 1.28155. If I would have done the math first, option six, distributions, option three, if I would have just put in the point 0.9 and did the math beforehand, notice that it gives you the same thing. So either way, you end up with Z is approximately 1.28. I'm just doing two decimal places because that's normally what's done. Um, if you need to do more than that, just do more than that. The last one that I'm going to look at is when they give us the area between. So this one, they're saying that the area in between these two values is 84%. And for this, whenever it tells you between, you want your z-scores to be the same which means that the area on the outside should be the same. 
So what we're looking for is the area in this tail and the area in this tail. To find the area on the outside, we would do 1 minus 0.84. So the total area on the outside is 0.16. Half of it would go here, so that would be 0 0.08, and half of it would go here. So the area in these tails is always 1 half of 1 minus the area between. Okay. Um, so with this, when you plug it into your calculator, you do have a couple of options. Um, option one is to find your negative z-score first, and your area to the left of that is 0 0.08. Okay. Um, option two, like I said, this will give us our negative z-score. Um, option two is to find the positive z-score. And the positive z-score, if you look at this, it has 92% of the area to the left. So this will give us the positive z-score. And like I said, you only have to do one of these. You could do both, but really you just have to do one. Um, if you don't want to go through the whole thing of um, going back, you can just grab it and then come in here and change this to 0, 08. And we get negative 1.405. And again, if you just grab it, um, this time if we do the 0.92, we get the positive of it. Anytime that this third number is a five, a lot of times I go ahead and report my z-score with three decimal places just because it's more accurate. It's right in the middle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put both of these as 1.405 and um, so the positive and the negative of those two. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.